Have you ever held a tiny seed in your hand? It's a marvel of nature, so small and delicate, yet brimming with potential. This tiny seed, seemingly insignificant, holds within it the promise of life, growth and transformation. So small, yet containing the potential for a mighty tree. With the right conditions, sunlight, water and fertile soil, this seed will sprout, grow and eventually become a towering tree, providing shade, shelter and sustenance. Faith is like that seed. When we plant it in the fertile soil of our hearts and nurture it with hope and perseverance, it begins to grow. It starts small, almost imperceptible, but with time and care, it becomes a powerful force in our lives. It seems small, almost insignificant, but inside lies the power to move mountains. Life can be hard. We all face challenges that seem insurmountable, obstacles that block our path and make us question our strength and resolve. We face storms, disappointments, moments when we feel lost and alone. These are the times when our faith is tested, when the darkness seems overwhelming and the light at the end of the tunnel feels distant and unreachable. It's in these times that faith becomes our compass, guiding us through the darkness. It gives us direction when we feel lost, hope when we feel hopeless, and strength when we feel weak. Faith is the light that leads us out of the shadows and into the dawn of a new day. Remember, even the smallest amount of faith, like a mustard seed, is enough to move the hand of God. It doesn't take much. Just a tiny spark of belief can ignite a fire of miracles and wonders in our lives. Never underestimate the power of believing. When we come together in faith, we create a force that can change the world. We find strength in unity, hope in community, and love in the shared journey of life. So hold on to your faith, nurture it and watch it grow. It may start as a tiny seed, but with time it will become a mighty tree, capable of moving mountains and transforming lives. Jesus once told a story about a mustard seed. It was a simple story, yet it carried a profound message that has resonated through the ages. The mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds, almost invisible when it falls to the ground. It's so tiny that it can easily be overlooked, much like the small beginnings in our own lives. Yet, despite its minuscule size, it grows into a large plant providing shade and shelter. This transformation from a tiny seed to a towering plant is nothing short of miraculous. This story teaches us that even when our faith feels small, it has incredible potential. Just like the mustard seed, our faith can start off almost imperceptible, but with time and nurturing, it can grow beyond our wildest dreams. Don't focus on the size of your faith. Focus on the greatness of the one you believe in. It's not about how much faith you have, but about the power of the one in whom you place your faith. Just like that tiny seed, your faith can blossom into something extraordinary. It can grow and flourish, bringing beauty and hope into your life and the lives of those around you. Trust in God's power to grow it, even when you can't see it happening. Often the most significant growth happens beneath the surface, out of sight. But rest assured, with faith and patience, your mustard seed will grow into a magnificent tree. Remember, the mustard seed doesn't grow in isolation. It thrives in the right environment with the right conditions. Similarly, our faith grows stronger when we are part of a supportive community, surrounded by love and encouragement. Share your faith, no matter how small it may seem. Your story can inspire others, just as the parable of the mustard seed has inspired countless generations. Together, we can create a forest of faith, each seed contributing to a greater whole. So plant your mustard seed of faith today. Nurture it with love, patience and trust in God's timing. Watch as it grows, transforms and becomes a testament to the miraculous power of faith. The mustard seed miracle is a reminder that from the smallest beginnings, great things can grow. Believe in the potential of your faith and let it guide you towards a future filled with hope and possibility. Life is full of unexpected storms. They come in different forms, illness, loss, financial troubles. These trials can shake us, make us question everything. But remember, even in the midst of the storm, God is with you. He sees your tears, hears your prayers. He hasn't abandoned you even when it feels that way. Just like a ship's anchor keeps it steady in rough seas, your faith is your anchor. 
Hold on to it tightly and let it keep you grounded when life feels chaotic. When the winds of worry blow, it's easy to lose sight of hope. Doubt creeps in, whispering lies that God doesn't care that your prayers aren't heard. But God's word reminds us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Hold on to that promise. God has a plan for you, a good plan filled with hope and a future. Your miracle is closer than you think. Section 5. When doubts creep in, it's okay to have doubts. Even Jesus' disciples struggled with doubt at times. The key is not to let doubt take root and grow into unbelief. When doubt whispers, turn to God's word. It's filled with stories of ordinary people who faced impossible situations and witnessed extraordinary miracles through faith. Read the stories of David and Goliath, Daniel in the lion's den, or the woman with the issue of blood. Their faith, even in the face of fear, can inspire and strengthen your own. Section 6. The Potter and the Clay In this section we delve into the profound metaphor of the potter and the clay, a timeless illustration of creation, transformation and purpose. Imagine a potter moulding clay into a beautiful vessel. The potter's hands are skilled, moving with precision and care, knowing exactly how much pressure to apply and when to ease off. Just like the potter gently shapes the clay, God moulds and shapes us through life's experiences. Each spin of the wheel, each touch of the hand, is a step in the process of becoming. Sometimes we may not understand why we go through trials. Life's challenges can be perplexing and painful, leaving us questioning the purpose behind our struggles. But God, in his infinite wisdom, uses these moments to refine us, to make us stronger, more compassionate, more like him. Just as the potter knows the exact moment to shape and the precise time to let the clay rest, so does God know the perfect timing for our growth. Trust in the Master's hand. Even when the process is difficult and the outcome seems uncertain, have faith that there is a greater plan at work. He knows what he's doing even when we don't. The potter sees the finished product in his mind's eye long before the clay takes its final form. Allow him to mould you, to guide you through the shaping process. Surrendering to his will can be challenging, but it is through this surrender that we find our true purpose, to shape you into the masterpiece he created you to be. Each of us is a unique creation with our own strengths and beauty crafted by the hands of the master potter. Embrace the journey, trust the process, and know that you are being shaped into something extraordinary. We often want our miracles right away, but God's timing is not always our timing. He sees the bigger picture, the intricate tapestry he's weaving in our lives. Waiting can be difficult, but it's in the waiting that our faith is tested and refined. Use this time to draw close to God, to deepen your relationship with him through prayer and studying his word. Remember, God is never late. He's always on time, working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of your life for your good. Don't wait for your miracle to experience joy. Find joy in the journey and the everyday moments. Be grateful for the small blessings, the answered prayers, the love of family and friends. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude. When we focus on what we have rather than what we lack, our hearts are filled with peace and contentment. Remember, happiness is not a destination. It's a choice we make each day. Choose to find joy in the present moment and watch how God blesses you beyond your wildest dreams. Hold on to hope, dear friend. Your miracle is coming. It may not arrive in the way you expect or on your timetable, but it will come. Keep praying, keep believing, keep trusting in God's unfailing love. He sees your struggles, hears your cries, and he's working everything together for your good. The dawn is about to break. A new day is dawning, a day filled with God's blessings and miracles. Are you ready to receive them? The power of faith is real. It can move mountains, calm storms, and bring hope to the hopeless. Never underestimate the power of believing. Keep your faith strong, even when you don't see immediate results. Trust in God's plan, his timing, and his unwavering love for you. Remember, your miracle is right around the corner. Keep the faith and watch God work wonders in your life.